Contrary to all the naysayers, off-gassing of the battery has not yet corroded all the terminals into nothing. Due for inspection and routine maintenance on my long endurance UPS project, I do this every three or four months or so, so I've done it before since the unit went together. F figured I'd get a video of it this time. Trying for live narration, we'll see how much of a fool I make myself and how much I gotta supplement with voiceover. First up, obviously, get everything unplugged. Groot is already shut down, so no worries of unplugging that. Won't lose any data or corrupt windows or anything like that. And yes, the light runs on this too, so got a little bit darker in here. Pull this out a bit, figure out which of these sockets. Well, certainly starts up. Voltage dropped a tiny bit. It was at 13.6, down to 13.2, because the inverter kicked on. Turn that off. Fan will keep ticking over for a bit, because it's on that timer circuit, as seen in the video. And I can continue extracting this thing. Oof. This thing certainly has not gotten any lighter. The good news is my back is getting better. I set this thing up such that should be able to simply undo the strap and the top of the battery box without really having to disconnect anything. The unit can sit off to the side along the back and Contrary to all the naysayers, the off-gassing of the battery has not yet corroded all the terminals into nothing. Got gloves and eye protection on. Time to get these vent caps popped off. off. And see where the electrolyte's at. Not sure if this is acid splash or gases that have recombined. I really don't want any of this going someplace it shouldn't be. Getting both my eyes and the camera lined up with the flashlight is a little bit tough. You can see the water should be right at the bottom of those tubes, right where the notch begins. It's a tiny hair low in all of the cells. Only distilled water should be used to top off a battery. I'm using this gallon to fill this mini water bottle so I have a little bit more control over how much I add. Unfortunately, unless I could strap the camera directly to my face, I don't think it's possible to get a look down into the cell as I'm adding. Doesn't use very much water. Okay, that's all six. Oh, this is a 6.8 fluid ounce bottle, and I didn't even use all of it. So I'll say maybe four and a half, five ounces, not including the little bit that I spilled. In these conditions, minimal water use, and if I had to, I could probably stretch maintenance interval to a year or more with really no ill effects. The plates were certainly not exposed. Press that down there so it seals on. These do have kind of a tight press fit. The vent tubes are conical, so it'll just wedge in there. 
distilled water doesn't really go bad. Pour the excess in here. Put the cap back on, and this gallon will outlast several batteries, I'd imagine. Quick double check that the terminals are still secure. Put the hat back on. Now time to exercise the battery. I'm going to plug in the approximately 80 watt load of my workbench shop light. And fire up the inverter. Use the volume control to turn down the beeper. And just gonna let this run for a little bit. Voltage has dropped to 12.8. So far, so good. And the light is certainly running. Had it run in about an hour. Battery is at 12.4 volts. Light is still on. Can barely even tell it's gotten warm at all. Going to shut down. Get the power for the shop light out of the way. Fan is still running. Battery voltage has rebounded up to 12.6. Going to remove the lid once more. Pop the safety cap off the terminals. And hook up the battery charger. Plug that in, indicator's on. And I'm gonna set it for six amp because this is a pretty big battery. The goal of this is to discharge the battery by a few percent and then fully recharge it. This will stir the electrolyte within the cells and help prolong the battery's life. Let it go until it says the battery's fully charged. Check back in a few hours. A few hours later, charger is in maintenance mode. Looks like it's fully charged. UPS is back into place and everything wired as it used to be. Groot up here, running at idle, all three monitors. Okay. Kick that off. There's alarm. Battery drops a little bit. Wing monitor's off. Center monitor still up. And obviously, Groot is still running on battery. Maintenance complete. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my other stuff. Got a range of projects and assorted garage shenanigans to choose from, with more on the way. Thanks for watching.